about simple formulated branding. Uh, simplifying things makes things easier. As you know, we all have this comment called keep it simple. So let's get to this presentation. We see complexity on a daily basis. Architecture, branding, telecoms, various things, even design can be very complex. So complexity is on a daily basis, it's a part of our life. A winding complexity in information as well, infographics, social media, uh, telecoms, uh, going in and out, uh, value added services. So things are getting complex in terms of information, the architecture, and things how they are built. Complex tasks also have been embedded, like smartphones today. People want multitask rather than just one task, or various things. They want, don't want to close an app, they want to keep it running in the background. Even our connections are becoming very complex. You're nobody if you're not on LinkedIn, or you're nobody if you're not on Twitter. So our connections are getting very complex. But simple things are rare like a four-leaf clover. How rare is that? Where do we see that? It's a very rare thing. So what does a simply, simple formulated brand mean? It means brands that live their core values. Because marketing these days is all about values. Who you are, what you want to do, and what you want to give to the market. It's that simple. If you keep your core values in place, your brand is always going to be there. Let's take a look at some of the formulated brands. Does anybody know this product? Today in the Middle East, I guess you know it. A lot of people are, are, are buying this, even though it's a retro phone made by Moshi. But simple brands work with simple intuition. It's just a retro phone connected to your iPhone, iPod, or whatever it is that gives you communications. And that's why people love it. It's simple. I take it out of the box and plug it in, and I'm there. And I'm, I'm living that core value, which is the simple part. The Apple iMac. How many of you own a Mac here? There you go. I guess you, you guys know what a, a, an iMac can do. It's a simple one, two, three, a process right out of the box. You take it out of the box, plug it into the power, connect your, your mouse and keyboard via Bluetooth, and you're on. It's a simple one, two, three. Right there, out of the box. Servers. And you can see this complex background that I put today. Servers, networks, and all these wires going in and out. And these people are working day and night to keep this up and running but it's that simple to the consumer. It's simplified. Search right there. And, and that, that's where they become most wanted. I don't want to know how the things work. I just want to search. It's simplified. This one line right there. Now let's get into the formulation. There's five little formulas, or not formulas, little taglines I like to present today to you. The simplest way to get simple is through reduction. And that reduction has to be a thoughtful reduction and not just take things for the, ta for the sake of taking them out. You take them out because they're not meaningful and just make the consumer or customer distressed. Just like this. I don't like to compare Microsoft and Apple all the time. I'm just comparing today the simplification. You have an Xbox remote and you have an Apple remote. It's all the meaningful reduction right there. They've simplified the remote, just like the one in my hand. I can use it for an Apple TV, an Apple computer, watch movies, do all the functionalities that this remote does, but in just simple, simplified manner. Now, organization is key here. If you can see these two tables, they have the same exact stuff. But organizing things gets you optimized to a level that makes things look less. You have a lot of things, but it makes things look lesser. Now, effective organization creates great success in complexity and elimination battle. It is a battle. 
Don't think things are easy when you want to start reducing things. First, you have to sort out your values. What you are there for, who you are. Label the ones you're fond of. Some of the values you're not very fond of. They're just there because they were established that way, or some advertising agency told you to say that line. Maybe you should take it out and, and put the ones you want. Integrate them into common elements. Are we uh, a tech company? Let's get all the tech values. Are we a service company? Let's get all the service values into it. And prioritize the ones that have the most kick. For example, get closer, think different. All these taglines that keep things together, they're integrated and prioritized to what you want to say. And you're done. Now, saving time makes everything simpler because time is of the essence. And any product or any service or any network solution, you have to save time for your customer. Now, on average, a person stands in line for an hour daily. Whether you know it or not, this is statistics. But you stand in line daily. But while you're waiting in line for a customer product, things start getting complicated. You're waiting in a queue all day long for a simple transaction. You start getting complicated in your head. You say, oh, do I have the right papers? Why is this taking so long? I think we're, there's some trouble here. Let me ask the guy in front of you. Things start getting complicated because you're waiting. Not because the service is not right, just because of the wait factor. And this is where the friction starts. Now, brand friction is the most thing that companies today are trying to reduce. Friction between the company, the brand, and the customer. The more time it takes you to do a transaction, and eventually it's a combined effort, the complexity starts to rise. Now when you start reducing that, oops, sorry. When you start reducing that, the complexity starts going down, because time is always bigger than the complexity. But not everything's made simple to everyone at all. Here's where the customer experience falls into place. Customer experience is the most essential thing you can have in a product, brand, or anything, or in an organization. It's the experience when you're walking in the door and walking out. I'll give you an example right here. The more time you give for your customer, the less the friction becomes. And I'll tell you how that happens. I'll give you an example of Apple again. You walk into an Apple store, you're a PC user. First thing you see when you see an Apple you don't know how to operate it. It's, it. it's quite complicated to a PC user. But as soon as you walk in and you freeze at that Mac, a customer representative comes in. Hey, are you interested in Mac? Let me tell you what a Mac can do. That's the first thing they sell you. And that's where the knowledge comes in. And then the complexity comes in. And the time spent from the customer service agent or the customer agent becomes more and the complexity becomes less. Now, knowledge is the best way to get things simple. If you know about the product, the complexity goes behind it. You have to know everything. First time anybody grabbed an iPhone, I bet you, you had a hard time going through the things. It was not like a Nokia, pressing settings, going to menu. It was different. Think of a screwdriver. You just put the screw, screw's head, and turn. It's very simple. Very simple transaction. But if you're a two-year-old, you wouldn't know which direction to go to. And this is where the knowledge comes in, with experience. The customer experience part plays into role. Getting to know or to do or operate things reduces the complexity factor. If, you, if somebody shows you how to juggle three or four times, you'll get it. But if, there's, if you're, nobody's going to show you how to juggle, they're not going to get it. But some things have never made simple. That's OK. That's simply OK. Because as much as you reduce, as much as you simplify, there's a limit. There's, there's no crossing point. You can't make a phone that has one button and does everything with one button. Things have to do uh, on, a, on a much bigger scale in terms of technology. We just have to know when to start, stop simplifying and relax right there. because. 
brands like uh, the, the brand I represent, Nauras, for example, it got complex to a, a certain level. Then we have to start simplifying things. And customer service, we understand that we are one of the best on customer service. Now, simplifying the customer service, we understood that that's where it stops. We stop there and simplifying things. Now, these are the five things I talked about. And uh, they can start getting complex to you guys. Too complicated, it's down to this. Really two things. Simplicity is all about subtracting the obvious and adding the meaningful. Just take out what's, what's, what's not really relevant to your brand and just keep the meaningful. Right? We are a telecom company. We provide the best service. We are a telecom uh, network solutions. We provide solutions. Not da 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 keep adding to it. Just network solutions, telecom service. Simplify it. If you do that, life becomes simple. And that's my presentation today. Thank you very much. <laughs> Any questions? Thank you very much for keeping it short. <laughs> I think everybody appreciated the long uh, journey we had. Any question from the audience? We still have a few minutes. We're ahead of time, five minutes ahead of time. We didn't look very good till midday, but we catch up. I have a question for you. Yes. Uh, how would you describe the importance of, of brand, let's say, in five years from now the for the telco? Uh, for a telco, that's very interesting. Uh, look, at any level, technology plays a big role. And telcos are the technology providers for today. Any service you want to use, for example, Instagram, or you want to update your status, you have to use a telco. Rather than going uh, to your PC and sitting down, using a fixed line, and, and doing the whole transaction that you used to do in the 90s. And today, with LTE, 4G, and all that, you're on the go all the time. So that brand is always simplified into one thing, a good provider. And that, I want to open the, my phone and get the service. I don't want to do multiple transactions. So uh, to, to the consumer level, the brand means getting things done in terms of a mobile uh, telco operator. The, cons the customer wants to do the experience on the go, right there, right then, with no objections. And if you're delayed for like, say, five seconds, you're going to see a lot of feedback after that. With today's you know, social networking, you'll see it immediately. So a brand today and in telco is very essential. And meaning of a brand means getting things done right then and there. Uh, very important point saying that today uh, the exposure is bigger than ever, yes. than ever, because of the social network and blogs, etc. However, the brand from the consumer perspective of the telcos is diminishing dramatically. Yes. Why? Because the first choice of a, a user or consumer is which operating system. Then if you go with iOS or with uh, Android, Android, you have uh, 10 other decisions you have to make, which supplier. Exactly. And then, I mean, in terms of HTC, you name them, Motorola, etc. And then the decision is who provides the best service. connectivity yes. and service, obviously, right? So it's going to be very difficult in the future to, to uh, keep, uh, basically, in the mind of the consumer, yes, I your brand value because exactly. of the dilution we're experiencing right now. Yes, I, I live that on a daily basis, to tell you the truth. Uh, customers' expectations have risen dramatically. And the voice of the customer has also been, it, it's been heard more than what we used to. People used to call a short code number and call to customer service and ask about a question. Now they don't want to do that. They want to know what's going on now. They want to be part of the company, be part of the information circle. So for example, if my network goes down, this is where technology helps. I expect the network, for example, to send a random tweet. OK, there's a network that went down at this area. It would send an automatic tweet. Dear customers, sorry for the inconvenience. This network has been going down. Then the customer then knows that this telco is happy to have you as a customer and is concerned for you to know what's going on with the company. So their expectations of information has grown dramatically. And this is where the brand, the brand here provides that. If the telco does not provide that, this is where the diminishment part comes in. We want to inform our customers, because we used to talk about the information age. I think we're living it now, because people want the information now. 
They want to know what's going on with my service, why, why am I disconnected or really connected really fast. Some people, you know, thank you very much. They want to voice their thank yous to our, to our company, and there's mediums to do that. So what you're saying as well in the leaving the brand is also to put a lot of emphasis in the real-time uh, communication yes. opportunity given by the different new they social platforms. They expect platform. customer service to reply to them on their channels. It's not us that giving them, for example, a short code or customer service. It's what mm. they want to hear at their channels. For example, yeah. Facebook, Twitter, LinkedIn, or whatever. They want us to communicate at their terms. I think the us I like, but there is also something else I like, which is uh, the opportunity for operator to leverage the social network to let the customer answer the question of the customer. Yes. So I've seen a lot of operators, not a lot, but a few operators who already managed to create uh, and the clients help the clients. Exactly. And this is a free customer service, yeah. so nobody's paying anything. Exactly. But it's unbelievable. I just bought the last uh, iPhone, and I have this problem with this application, and you get 15 answers. Exactly. So people are helping each other. And you, don't, you cannot build the competence within the operator to answer this question as fast as your community, your customer, who some of them have overcome this problem already, can answer live, real time, exactly. with zero cost. Exactly. So, it's up to you as well to create these platforms in order to um, build on your brand, not only thinking of your own competences. That's my... Uh, of course. Uh, I believe all telcos should start thinking of uh, this is a, an era where they have to start getting the information and passing the information correctly. And this is where you, know, you have to invest in your technology. Like customer service should now answer to all these me mediums with, with uh, say, scripted answers or uh, personal answers but they have to answer. If you stay radio silent, this is where your brand starts getting, you know, they're not listening to us. They haven't answered my question. This goes all over the world. With one little click, it's all over the world. So. It's 5.50, time's ended. Thank, Thank you very much, much again.